Hello and welcome to the 2324 Local Control Accountability Plan presentation by the Antelope Valley Union High School District. California's main education finance law is known as the Local Control Funding Formula, or LCFF. LCFF assigns money to districts based on the number of students that are attending. Under LCFF, districts also receive extra money to invest in the education of English language learners, foster youth, and children living in poverty. The LCFF requires districts to provide a description to demonstrate how the district is increasing or improving services for students who are low income, English learners, or foster youth as compared to the services provided to all students. All school districts in California are required to produce an LCAP, demonstrating how the local control funding formula funds are linked to meeting the needs of all students. The LCAP is a three-year plan that describes the goals, actions, services, and expenditures to support positive student outcomes that address state and local priorities. The LCAP provides an opportunity for school districts to share their stories of how, what, and why programs and services have been selected to meet local needs. The majority of the LCFF funds are district-driven, however, this formula also targets funding to specific student populations or subgroups. Those are English learners, foster youth, and students who are socioeconomically disadvantaged. Currently in the Antelope Valley Union High School District, we have 22,792 students in grades 6 through 12. 65.6% .6 of those students are low income, 9.4% are English learners, 2% foster youth, and 1% are students experiencing homelessness. For the 23-24 school year, we have been allocated $293,154,105 in LCFF funds. $48,225,154 is what we call supplemental and concentration that is generated based on the enrollment of high need students who are our foster youth, English learners, and low income students. We have five goals in our LCAP. Goal one is to ensure that all students are academically proficient and college and career ready. Goal two, provide a 21st century learning environment and rigorous curriculum that allows students to have multiple experiences and opportunities for academic, collegiate, professional, and personal growth. Goal three is to cultivate a safe and secure positive school culture that supports all students' personal and academic growth. Goal four, to communicate effectively with all educational partners and continue to build relationships in the community that help provide our students with innovative educational opportunities. Goal five says that we will ensure that students experiencing homelessness and students with disabilities are being provided equitable access to resources that are related to college and career readiness, 21st century learning, and a safe and positive school climate. At the end of this presentation is a survey for you to answer some questions related to information from this presentation and the LCAP. Which services and or programs were you aware of prior to today? Which services and or programs have you participated in or used? Should Antelope Valley Union High School District increase, continue, or discontinue any of the services and or programs? And were there barriers that made it difficult for you to use or participate in the services and or programs offered? So what improved actions and services does AVUHSD provide to students, staff, and parents or guardians? For goal one, to ensure that all students are academically proficient and college and career ready, we provide guided tours of colleges, universities, and career-related destinations. We administer the PSAT and SAT annually to 10th and 11th graders. We have advanced placement training annually for our AP teachers, as well as tutoring for students in the AP classes. We have uh, extended day tutoring, expanded learning opportunities. 
We provide the NWEA math assessments three times per year for students. We have reduced class sizes and daily small group instruction, such as Read 180 and the Math Literacy Project. We have EL program implementation and EL reclassification support and monitoring. We have three professional development days, increased credit retrieval options, training on Ed Central and Data Central, ancillary instructional materials, and additional professional development, coaching, and ancillary writing curriculum supports focusing on writing. Goal two, to provide a 21st century learning environment and rigorous curriculum that allows students to have multiple experiences and opportunities for academic, collegiate, professional, and personal growth. We provide school counselors and enhanced counseling and student support services, as well as professional development for our teachers, a new teacher induction program, classroom walkthrough feedback using DigiCoach. We have equitable access to AP classes, uh, offsetting the cost of the AP test for our students, as well as career technical education opportunities, the AVID elective, the AVID health survey for our ninth graders, technology in the way of renovated classrooms that are outfitted with technology, wireless capacity, and online access, STEM exposition and competition opportunities, low-cost dual enrollment and no-cost work-based learning internship options, academic and enrichment courses via Edmentum, as well as classroom walkthrough feedback, and a coordinator for professional development, feedback, and lesson planning support in the area of the next generation science standards. Goal three is about cultivating a safe and secure positive school culture that supports all students' personal and academic growth. We do that by providing standards aligned instructional materials, having facilities that are in good repair, fully credentialed and appropriately assigned teachers, and teachers and staff for our CTE programs. In addition to that, we work to recruit and retain teachers, improve student attendance, provide support via student support centers, implement PBIS, have classified professional development, uh, proactively monitoring the school environment by mentoring and building positive relationships, having supplemental interventions and support, transportation for low-income and foster youth students, independent city and resilient scholar, meet, scholar meetings, diversity training, and having a multi-tiered system of support district-wide. Goal four is about communicating effectively with all educational partners and continuing to build relationships in the community that help provide our students with innovative educational opportunities. We provide PowerSchool district-wide, which is our student information system. Qualtrics is a survey and analytics platform. ParentLink allows us to send phone messages out. We have EL parent workshops, such as Disciplina Positiva and the Parent Institute for Quality Education, as well as outreach to Spanish-speaking families. Parent and family uh, collaboration, again, PK for our English-speaking families or our multicultural celebration. We work to increase our communication and outreach efforts and provide social-emotional learning supports, such as campaigns like the Nope to Dope. Finally, we have goal five, which is to ensure that students experiencing homelessness and students with disabilities are being provided equitable access to resources related to college and career readiness, 21st century learning, and a safe and positive school climate. And we do that by providing our students with disabilities access to the least restrictive environment and providing increased academic support in general education classes, as well as special education staff support, involving our parents of students with disabilities, and implementing MTSS in special education so that we can decrease our suspension rate. Also, providing professional development and classroom walkthrough feedback to our special education teachers to increase English language arts and math achievement. 
We work to identify who our homeless students are and work on uh, getting them back in school to address the chronic absenteeism, as well as provide transportation to our homeless students, uh, providing a comprehensive support to our homeless students, as well as academic support so that they can achieve academic achievement. So once again, you will be completing a survey now that'll be asking you the same four questions for each of our goals. But when you get to the last goal, goal five, you will have the opportunity to provide some open feedback by answering the questions, what aspects of the LCAP do you feel have positively impacted the learning environment? And are there any suggestions or areas of improvement within the LCAP that you believe could further enhance the educational outcomes for the Antelope Valley Union High School District? In order to access the survey, you can scan this QR code with your phone, or if you are on a computer or tablet, you can type in https colon forward slash forward slash tinyurl.com forward slash LCAP survey 2023-24 and complete that. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me. My email is jslater-sanchez at avhsd.org.